You are, of course, looking at the House floor, and we can report that the revolt vote that we were just saying had suddenly happened at the top of the hour, driven by the likes of Peter King of New York, Republican against Republican, to keep the government open. That revolt vote has just failed, with some Republicans trying to stage a showdown against members of their own party because they think that a shutdown will end up hurting the Republican Party. Dana Bash is on Capitol Hill. And, Dana, I know you had to run away from the camera to try to get the headlines here, but uh, that, that vote looks like it failed. That's right. And, and what this means in practical terms, Aaron, is that this country, this government is headed for a shutdown at midnight. Uh, what this was was sort of a last ditch attempt by some Republicans who think that they've that enough is enough, that they've made their point in voting once to defund Obamacare, once to, to delay it for a year, failing both of those times, that it's time at this late hour to simply fund the government with no strings attached pass a bill that the president would sign. But I told you it didn't seem like a lot. They only needed 17 Republicans to agree with them. They only got six. Uh, the rest did vote with their party on the plan that just passed procedurally that we're going to see the actual vote on uh, soon. And that plan would be to fund the government, but to delay the individual mandate of Obamacare for a year and something that hits everybody here very close to home, to take away federal subsidies for premiums health care premiums for members of Congress, for their staff, and for some in the executive branch. So uh, that is basically what's going to roll forward right now. It looks like it's a train that's not going to stop. Uh, the House is going to have a couple more votes and, and sort of formalize that, that it's going to go back over to the Senate. And as we have heard from the Senate Democratic leader, Harry Reid, and others so many times before, and we saw earlier today, they feel confident that they have the votes to reject that. And then we're in limbo. Uh, and then we are, you know, we're going to be probably very close to, to the clock striking midnight. And my Republican sources who I've talked to here in the House side say that they simply don't at this point see uh, the House relenting, at least not tonight, to finally, even after all of those machinations, agreeing to pass a bill funding the government with nothing at all, even derailing Obamacare a little bit on it.